You want to go fishing, don't you? Maybe Mom has something to fix it with. What is it, girl? You're right. We better put the things away before Mom catches the mess on the floor. I supposed to bring you something? Seems to me I do have something for you, too, but I'm not sure I can remember where I put it or what it was. I wonder if this is it. Oh, the only things in here are a couple of fish hooks and a new bobber. I don't suppose you'd have any use for them, would you? Gee, thanks, Dad. It's just the one we wanted, isn't it, Lassie? Yeah, I figured it would be. The most expensive one in the store. Oh, hi, dear. Hi. I saw Mr. Flippin in town. He said the new tenants had moved into the old Stoddard place. Oh, so I heard. I understand she's a widow with a young son. I saw the boy in the yard when I drove by. Well, I'll have to go over there tomorrow and welcome her. Timmy, why don't you and Boomer go over and get acquainted with a young boy? OK, Mom. Let's go, Boomer. Come on, Lassie. <laughs> it's Lassie's turn. Now stay. That's a good boy. Stay. Go get it, Lassie. I wonder if he has a dog. Who? That new kid. Whatever his name is. How should I know? I'll bet he's a city kid. Probably. Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! Stay away! I'll hit you! Get away! I'll hit you! Get away! Get away from me! 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 I'll hit you! Come back, come back here! Don't you get my dog? He tried to bite me. And he's a she. Unless he never tried to bite anybody. Well, she tried to bite me. You've got her stick. What's the matter? Are you scared of dogs? No. It's just that I don't like dogs and dogs don't like me. You the new boy that lives at the Stoddard place? My name's Henry Bridell. I'm Timmy Martin. And this is my friend, Boomer Bates. Make her leave me alone. She just wants to be friends. Sure, take the stick and throw it. I don't want to take the stick. Make her leave me alone. Mike, Mike, come back here. Let the scaredy cat go. He said dogs don't like him. He really is awful scared of him. He's all mixed up. Who cares? Come on, let's go. I'll race you to the blueberry patch. No, I think we ought to show Henry he doesn't have to be afraid of dogs. I don't know why we have to be bothered with him. Okay.
did, Henry. Oh, you shaking, poor thing. It was a great big dog, and he started barking at me, and everything, and I was scared. <laughs> Please, take that dog away from here, please. Lassie didn't mean to scare him. She just wanted him to play with her. Well, I, I'm sure she did, but Henry isn't used to being around dogs. Lassie just wanted to be friends. Lassie likes everybody. Don't you, girl? <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Come on, Lassie. God bless Mom, Dad, and Uncle Petrie. And God bless everybody. Amen. There we are. Did you say goodnight to Dad and Uncle Petrie? You look like a little man with a big problem. It's that new boy, Henry. He doesn't like Lassie. Doesn't like Lassie? And his mother doesn't like Lassie either. She said so. But why? Why not? I'm sure Lassie didn't do anything wrong. They don't like any dogs. Oh, then it isn't just Lassie. Mom, why don't they like dogs? Oh, I don't know, dear. You know, some people are afraid of dogs for one reason or another. But why would anybody be afraid of Lassie? Well, now, we mustn't judge people. I'm sure the Bridells have a very good reason for not liking dogs. Well, we must just try to show them that dogs like Lassie make very fine friends. Don't you worry about it. You get to sleep now. Night, Mom. Good night, dear. been thinking. We've got to do something about that Henry Bridell. I've got an idea, but most of it will be up to you. The first thing we've got to do is make Henry like you. And then when he finds out what a swell dog you are, maybe he won't be afraid of dogs anymore. Now the thing you have to do is make believe you like Henry an awful lot. Almost as much as you like me. Do you think you can do that, Lassie? <laughs> Shh. We're supposed to be asleep. We'll start our plans in the morning. Night, Lassie. This is an unusual pleasure. Coffee for two. <laughs> we don't have much time to talk in the morning, do we? You know, I miss my little chatterbox when he's not at the table. Our son is sleeping the sleep of the just. Oh, to be a boy again. Thanks for waking me up, Lassie. I might have slept all day. I've got it all planned. But remember, it's up to you. <laughs> I'm going to go see Henry Bridell this morning, and you're going to stay home. But that's part of the plan. I'm going to go first, and you're going to meet me later at the fishing hole by the lake. Understand? <laughs> It seems that Henry doesn't like dogs. And with Timmy, it's uh, like me, like my dog. Well, not quite. But the boy's mother doesn't like dogs either. And Timmy just couldn't understand how anybody, especially a grown-up, couldn't like dogs. Well, frankly, neither can I. Well, if I know my son, he's not going to let it rest there. Which is exactly what we'd expect of him. Isn't it? Mm-hmm.
Morning, Mom. Mm, good morning, dear. Did you have a good sleep? Uh-huh. Lassie woke me up. She wanted to remind me. Remind you? What? Well, me and Lassie, I mean Lassie and I, we've got a plan. I can't tell you about it now, but it's a good plan. And you can help, too. Well, if it's a good plan, I'll try to help all I can. What do I have to do? Well, Lassie's going to stay here till you tell her to meet me at the fishing hole by the lake in about an hour. Yeah, I guess that'll give me enough time. Lassie knows about it, don't you, girl? Well, I'll keep a sharp eye on the clock. You go ahead and eat your breakfast. Timmy, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Timmy Martin. It's nice of you to stop by, Timmy. Thank you. I came over to see if Henry wanted to go fishing. Fishing? Can I, Mom? Well, I don't know, Henry. Please, I've never been fishing in my whole life. Oh, I know, but... Well, well is it perfectly safe? Oh, yes, ma'am. Well, I guess it'll be all right. Thanks, <laughs> Mom. Where's your dog? Oh, Lassie, she's home. I'll tell you when it's time. What are you and Timmy up to, anyway? <laughs> I'll bet. Hi. Hi. I've got to drive back into town. Oh? I forgot to pick up some chicken feed. Here, this will keep you from getting greedy. I'm taking this cake to Mrs. Bridell. Mrs. Bridell? Oh, the new neighbor. And since you have to go right by the house, you can give me a ride. Mmm, I'll carry the cake. Well, all right, I guess it's time. Timmy's for the fishing hole, Lassie. You go find him. What was that all about? I don't know. Timmy and Lassie are up to something. I couldn't get any information out of either of them. Are you sure there's any fish in here? We must have been here an hour. Sure there's fish in here. We haven't been here more than 10 minutes. I caught one. I caught a fish all by myself. Look, I caught one. Be careful, or he'll fall back in the water, and you'll fall in too. She was at home. She was. She won't hurt you. Where are you, Lassie? <laughs> See? Look, Lassie wants to be friends. Shake hands with her, Henry. Look, you made her cry. Aw, oh, she isn't really crying. Unless she's got feelings the same as you. How would you like it if you wanted to make friends with somebody and they wouldn't even shake hands with you? She likes me. Sure she does. Tell her to do a trip. Would she? For me? Lassie, roll over. <laughs> Timmy, she's wonderful. I sure wish Lassie was my dog. Lassie does everything I tell her to. 
You're doing a real good job, Lassie. He's beginning to like you already. So keep on pretending you like him. Hi! Your mom said you were down here. What are you doing? Fishing. And Henry isn't afraid of dogs anymore. <laughs> they lovely? Mm. You know, having your own flower garden is really only one of the joys of living in the country. <laughs> yes, I know. But you know, after living in the city, it all seems so, so strange and so quiet. Especially at night, it almost makes me uneasy. Well, what you need is a watchdog. I suppose Timmy told you about what happened yesterday. Yes. Well, I'm afraid Henry gets his fear of dogs from me. I've been terrified of them ever since I was a little girl. There, there was a mad dog in the neighborhood. Oh, well, then I can understand your being frightened. But you know, Lassie's a great comfort to us. She's not only Timmy's closest friend, she's his guardian. We never worry whenever he's with Lassie. Oh, I know all the wonderful things about dogs, Ruth, and I've tried to like them and not be afraid of them, but I can't. I honestly can't. I understand. Oh, my goodness, look at the time. I've got to be going. My family will be getting hungry. <laughs> oh, Henry, what is it? It was a dog, a little dog, and I was afraid of him. Oh, but it's all right now, dear. And, and I caught a fish, a real fish, for the first time in my whole life. And I ran away and left it there. Oh, don't worry about that, Henry. We'll catch another fish sometime. Well, why not try later today? There's a special place down by the lake for fish fries. We could have a picnic and the boys could catch our supper. Why, that's a wonderful idea, Ruth. I'll bring the salad. Good. Oh, and I'd better bring along some hamburger just in case the fish don't cooperate. I just have a feeling this is your lucky day, Henry. And I'll be very surprised if you don't catch your own trout for supper. <laughs> I'll see you later. Thanks for the coffee. Thank you for the cake. <laughs> We don't catch any. Don't worry. It's real deep, so there's always lots of fish. I got one, I got one.
I bet even Mrs. Bridell likes dogs now. Huh, Lassie? I tell you what, just to make sure, you go over and stay with Henry and make believe he's your very best friend. Okay, Lassie? Thank you, Lassie. Gee, Mom, Lassie sure is a keen dog. Oh, she certainly is, Henry. You know, I think it's about time you had a keen dog of your own. Can I, Mom? Can I pick up my own dog? Why, of course, Henry. I want Lassie. Henry, Lassie belongs to Timmy. I couldn't give Lassie to you, Henry. Henry, Lassie's a part of Timmy's life. A great, big, important part. <laughs> Why, she's like one of the family. Now, you couldn't give away a member of your own family, now could you? She saved my life. That proves she loves me more. No, it doesn't. Lassie saved you because you're my friend. There are a lot of other dogs in the world. Some of them are almost as good as Lassie. I, I'm sure you'll find one you love just as much. Just ask her if she'd rather be Timmy's dog or mine. I I'm afraid it's the only way we can convince him. All right. Call your dog, Timmy. Here, Lassie. Here, girl. afraid of dogs. So I told Lassie to make him love her. You'll find a dog, honest you will, and it'll be a dog that you want. I'll never find one that wants me. Yes, you will. All right, you tell me where. Well, I know, I know just the place. Don't we, Lassie? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 